funny and excuse any evil that you may see in the background. But I was out running errands and it just occurred to me that I haven't made a tea vlog in like a million years. And I ha- oh my god. I just noticed my window is open. Mm. They can hear me. I'm only completely invisible sitting in my car with my windows rolled up. So I was just you know, sitting here drinking my swamp tea, freshly brewed by gators, and I noticed that I actually had this camera, like my legit, actual, real camera, sitting in this seat over here. It's the passenger seat, but I very rarely have passengers, so it's kind of just like the seat. That makes no sense. I'm sorry. You guys, I'm just, I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited because we got a cool front over the weekend and it's just such nice temperature right now like it's kind of starting to feel like fall weather which just makes me want to be alive so much that I want to just like I don't know shake my hands in the air run around in traffic make the go play in traffic tag a real thing I know I look horrendous right now and the sun is like awkwardly shining kind of halfway on my face and it almost makes me look like I have like some kind of like bulbous nose doesn't it I think it does and my hair this is what happens when I put conditioner in my hair it gets nasty does anybody else have that problem it's just like you want to be healthy you want to have healthy hair but the moment you put conditioner in your hair it's just like just nothing you look like Kurt Cobain Kurt Cobain in a very humid climate. Your hair is just like stringy. It's, oh, I'm like spitting with emphasis right now. I had to put commit. I had to do it because you guys, I'm gonna crimp my hair today because I'm filming a special lookbook and I'm going to a special place tomorrow to film a segment of it. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm excited. I can actually start doing lookbooks and stuff right now because it's not like melt your face off temperature so i just wanted to drop in and talk to you guys see how you guys you guys y'all how y'all doing y'all doing good on the swamp is everybody keeping it together it's not even mid-september yet but you know 50 days till halloween i think it's 50 now I don't, all the Halloween stores in my area are opening and it's very exciting. We got so many Halloween stores this year, I'm so excited. We got Spirit Halloween, Halloween Express, Halloween City, which I've never ever been in a Halloween City before, but I think it's owned by Party City. That's why they kind of have the same name. We also got this one called Spookers Halloween. That's a bit down the freeway from me though, but I just saw it when I was coming back from the thrift store. And I know that this is like, oh, me retinas the sun and I know my last video was about thrifting too but I stopped at the thrift store today because I was on the lookout for a denim vest for the look that I'm filming tomorrow as part of my lookbook that you guys probably won't see for like two weeks or something I would say because it's about it's it's like eight different looks and I'm really trying to go all out this time and not suck anyway so I was looking for a denim vest to like distress and totally ruin change up make it look cool and uh, this was the least of the evils there was not that much denim denim going on I don't know like I don't know what it is this year I've been really really looking for little boys size denim jackets I know that sounds weird but that's it's like my favorite like section to find denim stuff in because it fits me a lot better like women's denim jackets never fit me properly like they always look like boxy and bizarro so I don't know there's been nary a little boy's denim jacket in the entire thrift store this year it really sucks do you like my hand signals right now Oh. This was the less of the evils. I did find this in the women's section. I'm planning on really deconstructing it a lot. I have no idea what's going to go on with this black denim collar right here. I hope it's not going to be evil when I try and bleach this thing out tonight. So cross all of your little phalanges and wish me luck. It was only a dollar and sixty cents. So if it turns out to be Frankenstein's monster, I don't know. I've only lost a dollar and sixty cents. But I found something entirely unexpected and if you follow me on Instagram you have already seen it and that's okay. I certainly, what word was I gonna say there? I, I definitely appreciate everybody's input. You all 
forced me to buy this. I don't, you did it. You did it to me. No, I'm just, I only joke. I'm totally appreciative of everyone who was an enabler and told me to buy this. I have never seen anything like this in the thrift store in my life. I thought this person was gonna run into me. Don't run into me. I know you're eating your chicken sandwich. I know it's good. Check yourself. Don't wreck yourself. He's probably like, girl, you're a weirdo talking to yourself. I don't even think that people can see that this is a camera sitting here. I just look like a nutbag talking to myself in my car, which is not far from the truth. <laughs> On that note, uh, I have never seen an item like this in the thrift store, nor shall I ever see it again in the future. We all know that I have a Johnny Depp fashion problem. He's like one of my fashion icons. I know he's a guy. I don't care. I always draw my fashion inspiration from guys, I think, and then try and put a girly twist on it. Like, uh, who's another fashion inspiration? Well, I haven't used him in a while. That sounds, that sounds bizarre. But I used to get a lot of fashion inspiration from like Robert Plant and Jim Morrison. I do love me some Jim Morrison. Creepy face. I just so happened to walk down the men's coats, men's, men's coats section, plural, plural, singular. That is not good grammar out of my mouth. No, 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 no. So I was walking down the men's coats section out of sheer despera despera des desperation, looking for any kind of like denim that I could tailor and make the denim, the denim vest that I'm trying to do. I don't, what is this symbol? And I saw this leather bomber coat and it's totally like distressed and worn and I have no idea what period this is. It could be 80s. It could be late 70s. I don't really, it could be the 90s. I just, we don't know. I'm gonna pretend like it's like late 70s just because that's cooler in my mind. I saw this little like, this sucker's sleeve sticking out and I was like, that is the most gorgeous sleeve ever and it is a, bomber jacket but literally it's an extra small i don't even understand i don't know if it's like an extra small men's which i've never seen that in my life or if this is actually like a women's coat because sometimes like women's stuff gets thrown in with men's stuff and vice versa but it really fit me perfectly it fits in the shoulders it fits in the sleeves it's not too too big but I hope I can kind of like style this and make it a little bit more like feminine and not quite so boxy if that makes any sense I don't know I mean it is just like straight cut like a bomber jacket but it's really good quality there's nothing wrong with it no cuts or anything and there was nothing nasty in the pocket I cannot be the only person who thrift shops who does the pocket check like I'm like, if there's something like icky in the pocket or if it feels like sandy, oh, that is the worst. Sandy pockets. I'm like, what did you do? Take this to the beach? Did you take this leather jacket to the beach? Not acceptable, sir. No sand was, was in here. I don't know. I ended up getting it because it looks just like the bomber jacket that Johnny Depp has. And I know I say Johnny Depp in like every video. So I'm sorry. Um... I have problems. The only crappy thing that really held me back from just picking this up and buying it immediately, even though I did pretty much just pick it up and buy it immediately, I don't know. I had to put it on Instagram and ask permission first. It was $18.90, which is expensive to me for a thrift store item. Maybe I'm just being redonkulous. I guess it's normally because I coupon shop at the thrift store, so I'm used to getting everything half off, but there are no coupons that I can have that I could have taken, and there were no sales, and I don't think I've ever seen a white tag sale. Like, normally every day they have a different color tag, and whatever price tag that item is, it's half off, but I don't think I have ever seen, like, white be the color of the tag, so I don't know. I didn't think I'd be able to get it on sale any less than $19, and I did not really think that this is something that would stay in the thrift store long. It's in really good condition, and I'm sure someone else would have bought it and I would have been sad so I'm just gonna hug it we're gonna be friends now I'm sitting in this parking lot hugging this jacket sorry I'm not sorry a guy eating his chicken sandwich just doesn't know what to make of me it's okay honey neither do I
Anyway, other thing I'm super excited to show you guys because it is so stupid that I had to buy it. I actually did stop at the spirit store the other day and they had this alien. It's actually called, who's in your backseat? This guy, this is for your car. You put him on like one of the back windows so that when other unsuspecting innocent people on the road just like slightly turn their head left, they see an alien on your car and they just don't know if it's real or fake because it looks so realistic, doesn't it? I think so. These are my people. I know what they look like. I know what's realistic. I don't know. I'm, I'm just probably going to put this on my car and then never take it off because Evidently, my car is the creep car. And I think I should film my car video this week. I always said I was going to do a car tour, which that almost makes no sense now that I say it again eight months later, but car tour. It's probably coming up this week, next week, week after, you know, whatever. I guess I rambled long enough. I'm going to make a pit stop and actually film like the walking around part in these shoes. Who of you remembers these shoes? I finally found the footage. I knew that I did like the talking about it part, unboxing part, that makes no sense. But I just need to film like the wearing part so you guys can actually see what they look like. That video should be up real soon. You guys, I think I'm starting to miss like my Victorian inspired new goth fashion. I don't know, when I was like walking around in the thrift store today, I saw like a thousand and one things. I don't know. I might be bringing sexy back. I don't know. I might be bringing it back. That was the least sexy thing I could ever do in my life. Nothing more sexy than the turtle face. Turtle face. Do you ever just make random noises or is that just me? Ah! Dolphin. Dolphin noise. Um, I'm done. I'm always yelling. I can't help it. I'm deaf. I should try and talk quieter. Can you guys hear me right now? Hey everybody, it's funny. That sounds creepy. It makes me sound like a librarian, but like a dead librarian who's still in the library. Yeah, just comment down below. It's Tuesday, Monday, it's Monday. It's Monday. Monday, Monday, gotta get down on Monday. That's not a song. I can make it a song though. I'm done, the sun, me retinas. Oh, the melting. My face is improving though from the great Halloween makeup disaster of 2012. Love you guys. I hope you're having a great week. Take a minute to subscribe if you'd like to. I'd love to have you here. It would be great. We could high five each other. We could swap swamp stories. Say that five times fast. If you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl. Or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyard girl. It's fun there. Everything is fun. The whole world is fun. Fun world. <gasps> if I ruled the world, I would rename it Fun World. We would have dolphins swimming in the streets and everyone would think they were sharks. In a world of my own. I'm gonna leave now. You might miss me, but it's okay. I'll be, I'll be back tomorrow, okay? We can talk more then. Bye guys.